You guys doing Eric here? Today is Thursday, February 8th, 2018. Kind of a, a warm, breezy day up here in Gilpin County. So it's like 32 degrees. That's, that's pretty warm for this time of year. And yeah, it's, it's like my Sunday today, my day off. So finally got a chance to get up here and walk Dingo. Yesterday I was, I thought I had a dentist appointment yesterday. I drove down to Boulder and I found out it's next week. So, but I needed to go down to Boulder anyway to get some, to get some supplies for this little job I had to do yesterday. So anyways, yeah, man, my fucking body's hurting. Fucking, I've been beating the shit out of myself, man. I got, both of my shoulders are starting to hurt now. This shoulder is like, oh God, it hurts to lift it. My ribs right here, they just won't seem to heal, man. It just takes forever for some bruised ribs to heal, man. All from one snowboard crash I had. And now my hips starting to bother me a little bit. I was, I got, I got caught in some deep snow the other day and I think I aggravated my hip climbing out of it. The hip, that I, I kind of hurt my hip about a year ago snow skating. And now it's starting, to, it's, it was hurting a little as I was walking up the hill here. Now, now it's not hurting. So, yeah, it's just I'm falling the fuck apart, man. My teeth are fucked up. I got I got to go go to the dentist every three months. Ugh, sucks getting old, man. You take it for granted, man, that your body's just gonna fucking hold up forever, you know. And then I've just been beating the shit out of myself for my whole lifetime, and now it's all catching up with me, man. It's kind of sad that I can't afford to go and get medical treatment or help. I could barely afford to keep my teeth going, but you know, even if I could afford it, man, I don't know if I would want to trust the fucking medical system in this country, man. Bunch of fucking shyster fucking quacks that just want to fucking take all your money and fucking kill you. That's what, that's what the medical industry in America is, man. It's fucking sad, man. They just, they don't, they don't really know about real medicine, man. You know, they don't teach doctors what they really need to know to help cure people. Like, you know, like fucking holistic medicine and fucking, you know, the, the most, the most important part of health is your diet. They never talk about diet, man. All they want to talk about is fucking medication, this, this medication, that, man, pushing drugs on you, man. You know, it's really sick, man. They just want to take all your money and fucking kill you. That's what the American medical industry is, you know. And medical insurance is so fucking expensive for a person like me. It's kind of out of the question for me right now. Maybe in the near future, but even if I could get afford it, like I said, I don't trust the fucking quacks. They, they don't have your best interest at heart. It's all a for-profit fucking bullshit industry. That, it, it, uh, it's just it's sick, man. Do, people don't become doctors to help you. They become doctors to fucking make money. It's fucking... It really is sad, man, you know? My mother died of cancer, and, you know, it costs, like, I think, you know, she fought cancer for, like, maybe six or eight years before she finally died, you know, and it was horrible, man. She, it, good thing that she had good insurance, you know? My stepdad had Blue Cross insurance on her, and... It costs about two million dollars, you know, to, for all of her fucking chemotherapy and fucking radiation therapy. And then she went into remission for a few a couple of years. And then the cancer came back and man, she was gone within two months when she was re-diagnosed with cancer. The doctor told us she had about two months to go. And let's like clockwork, man. She had, she got pancreatic cancer and... She was gone real quick. Yeah, that was I was rough to deal with, man. But my dad, man, he fucking he never really got sick like that, man. He just kind of died of old age, man. He didn't he didn't have any diseases or nothing. He just he just he just kind of quit eating, nutri giving nutrition to his body, and he just wasted away and died. So yeah, it's really sickening, man. 
this this fucking medical industry that people can't fucking you know that they it all comes down to money man if you don't have the money or the insurance you're just fucked and it, it shouldn't be that way man you know people the medical should be available to everybody you know but like i said it's it's not good for you anyways man it's just it's just a fucking prolongs your suffering until you die anyways yeah fuck the american medical industry also this week been having more drama with my fucking moron roommate roscoe god that guy is the fucking dumbest fucking most helpless fucking 50 year old child i've ever seen in my life I swear to god he's like a fucking eight year old child man that's what he acts like yeah, 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 the other night he got drunk again. Started fucking crying to me about how he's bored and it's just, you know, there's nothing for him to do up here and this and that. And there's like, can I do this and can I do that? And finally, I just had to go into my room and lock the door so I can get away from his fucking whiny ass. So then yesterday, he came to me and started talking again. I just fucking let him have it. I was like, dude, if you don't fucking like it here, if it's too boring for me, you know, if, if you're fucking, you can just fucking leave, man. There, there's no bars on the doors keeping you in here, man. You know, he's like, oh, no, no, man. I just, yeah, yeah, no, dude, I don't want to fucking hear it, man. If you don't like it here, fucking leave. Otherwise, fucking quit whining to me, man. So I don't give a fuck. Shut him right up, though, man. You got, I got him, man. I got to fucking keep him in his place or he's going to fucking try to fucking take every fucking advantage of me that he can. I'm fucking... I only got a few more... A couple more months that I got to deal with his ass. And then... If he keeps this shit up, keeps fucking bothering me the way he is, I'm going to evict his fucking ass in June or May. So... Yeah, hopefully he don't do that, man. I'll, I'll let him know if he tries it again. I'm gonna let him know, dude. One more fucking time, you come to me and fucking whine and bitch and cry to me, dude. That's it. Just fucking consider yourself evicted. I hate to be an asshole, but uh, you know, I got too many fucking problems. He's spitting on my lens. <sighs> I got plenty of problems of my own, man. I don't need to be listening to this fucking crybaby about all of his, bringing all of his fucking problems to me, trying to make it my problems. I ain't gonna fucking deal with it. Anyways, I hate to be negative, man, you know? I have so much fun at work being, being a lifty, and then I come home and I have to hear this fucking crying fucking Sasquatch fucking whining me about how fucking lonely and bored he is. He's always, he's always, uh, it's just... Anyways. You know, I told the guy before he fucking moved up here, man. I said, you know, we're kind of isolated up here. It's kind of a, a lonely place. It's kind of, you know, a hermit lifestyle in a way with not much contact. A lot, a lot of time you got to be alone. He's like, oh man, that's right, man. Yeah, I grew up in Evergreen, man. I'm used to that shit. So, and, and, and especially if you don't have a car or a driver's license. He's like, oh, no, it's all right, man. I can, as long as there's like a, a, a liquor store in walking distance or a gas station. Yeah, we got a convenience store and a liquor store in walking distance. And then everything else, I got to drive his ass around like a fucking, like I'm his dad taking him to fucking soccer practice. You know, when he first moved up, he told me him and his brother came up and his brother said, oh yeah, I'll be able to come up and take him to town whenever he needs to, you know. Well, well that hasn't been happening. His brother's got a fucked up hip and now he can't drive a car for like, you see, he had to have surgery again. He'll be able to drive his car again in six weeks, I guess. So I'm kind of stuck driving Roscoe around for the next six weeks. And even probably after that, so shortly after that though, man, I'll be done working at the ski area and I'm just gonna tell him, dude, if you're gonna keep fucking bugging me like this, 
You got to go, man. I can't take it. Anyways, man, I hate to, you know, come to you guys with this negative rant, but, you know, it's just some shit I need to get off my chest. And I did let Roscoe have it last night, though, and, but he doesn't seem to give a shit. He's just like, you know, I, I, I tell him the shit, and then he fucking says, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he just fucking does it anyways. That's fucking annoying, man. And I, like, dude, I told you not to do that. Well, no, I'm sorry, man. Fuck you, dude. You know, what if I, if I broke the law and the fucking, the cops came and arrested me, what am I gonna do is say, oh, I'm sorry, man. I didn't know I wouldn't, you, I know you told me not to do that, but you know, I just felt like doing it anyways. Cause I'm a fucking moron. God. Ugh. And then first, you know, he was up to like past two o'clock last night because I, I fell asleep on the couch, on the chair, watching my computer and I woke up at like two o'clock in the morning and his ass was still awake. So he stays up all fucking night long. Fucking. And then this morning, the first thing when he gets up, he comes out and he says, hey dude, can I buy a couple beers off you, man? I'm, I'm, I'm hung over. I need a couple beers. I'm like, fuck, dude. It's like, yeah. I did some work at the liquor store yesterday, so I got two 12 packs he paid me with. I see you got a bunch of beer in the fridge. Can I buy a couple off you? I was just like, dude, have a couple beers, man. But, you know, first thing in the morning. So if he's going to come home and he's going to fucking start being drunk already, man. Fuck. And then he wants me to drive him down to Golden today so we can go to the food bank. Oh, it's driving me mad. Mad, I tell you. But uh, I just got to deal with it for a little while. And I'll get rid of the fucking idiot. Anyways, last week I did sign a rental agreement with him before I took his second month's rent. So he signed a rental agreement. So I have the power to evict his ass for the 30 day notice. So that was one smart thing I did to cover my head. A lot of you guys are saying, man, be careful this guy stays with you for too long. You're gonna have, you're not gonna be able to get rid of him. Well, yeah, I guess I will be able to get rid of him.